channel. Today is going to be a fun day. Why is it a fun day, you ask? Well, we're going to go off-roading in the Hummer, but Leah has no idea. She thinks we're going out for coffee, and then just suddenly we're going to take a turn and go off-roading. Leah's never been off-roading, so stay tuned. This could be entertaining. Now, obviously, you didn't see the Hummer behind me. The RS6 is here, so we'll need to go down to the shop, grab the Hummer. I was changing diff fluids and stuff in it yesterday, so we'll get that done and uh, head out. She's in the house, so hopefully she doesn't hear this. All right, guys, we're here. We're going to grab the Hummer. We're going to uh, head out to, I guess, the field. But first, I got to convince Leah we're going for coffee. She's pretty smart. She's never going to buy it. But how sick does that Hummer look? Let's not ignore the fox back there, of course. But uh, let's do this. Okay, but like, can you think of a better vehicle to take for coffee at Starbucks? With these gas prices, I don't see why we don't do this for Well, it's gas prices, this is diesel, so it's gonna be fine. Perfect. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be fine. Really excited. Okay. And we'll meet Donna Carey there? Yeah. Yeah, alright, let's do it. We're going for coffee, I told you. This isn't a highway. No, 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 no. This, this is, what it's are like, we doing? We're going for coffee. Like, honestly? Yeah. This is going to be fun. I should have known something was up. No, it's going to be fun. You never just take me for coffee. <laughs> Don't even. I should have known. Have you ever been off-roading before, though? Like, never? You know what? We went off-roading once, but that's because the frost was nice on the trees and I wanted family pictures and it turned into a bit of an off-road session. <laughs> Why? I have so many other things I need to be doing with my day. We're stuck. We have shovel. Because I'm not in shoveling attire because I didn't know we were doing this. deep when a Hummer gets stuck. It didn't make it very far. Well, it's digging good. Hold on, let's check over what we're up against here. Oh man, it's up to the floor! <laughs> it's so deep! Oh, well, it buried it. Million dollar question remains is can we get out of this? That's 38 inch tires up to the rear bumper. Oh man. Hey, I've got our a video title for this. Oh, huh? yeah? Yeah, Moron Gets Hummer Stuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. All right, here we go. What's the plan, Steve? Well, we're gonna try and winch her out here, but uh, I don't know how long the winch cable is, but the tree's 100 feet away. So, I'll let you know in 10 minutes. And yeah, it's like needy, so. Okay, what's plan B, Steve? Uh, well, I got this new toe strap in here. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna try and like use the winch. The problem is I've never opened it and it's got ties around it. And then I'm hoping to go rescue Dawn and Carrie back there. You really weren't prepared for this, were you? Well, no, it, it, the Hummer doesn't get stuck. The Hummer does get stuck. Well, now it does. It's because you're here. Oh. It didn't get stuck till you were here. Hey. Okay. Okay. So one of a couple things is going to happen. Rope's going to break. Tree's going to fall. Or we're not going to go anywhere. What do you think is going to happen? Rope's going to break. Awesome. Here we go. Are we making progress? Oh, yeah. We're getting up to the hill here now. And, uh, there's like waist deep snow and I'm six feet tall, so the only thing is we gotta go back now. That's my concern. I think we're almost there. Yeah, I wanna get it as high up the hill as we can go. I can just give it gas and see if it'll go here. We can lift it or wrap the strap around a few times if we had to, so you don't have to wait an hour to 
That's true. Okay, I'll go like five feet and then we'll do it. If you're five feet, you'll be up here. You guys keep going, I guess. <laughs> what do you think? It's definitely leaning to the right. From what I see, you could just give her a go. Okay, well, I can do that then. I'll let out a little tension off here. I gotta deflate a bit here. You should let your wife try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she brought her book. She's reading her book. So now we're going to let a little air to the tires here. Hey, Dawn, can you unhook and then I'm going to try and just go. So, I don't know, like I told you we're going for coffee and then we did this. And uh, I feel like at the very least I owe you a coffee now. You do owe me a coffee. My, I'm bleeding, I'm dirty, I'm sweating, I'm hot. Like, it's fun. This is yeah. what you're looking forward How to. How much air do you think we should run? I'm down to 30. Okay, walkers are on. Drive. You want me just to go? He's got to work out too. I want to get out and let my foot off the brake and we're scrolling backwards. Look at that. I think it was moving. a little higher on the tree and for to get some lift under mm -hmm. the drift. Unfortunately the branch is considerably smaller so the downside is if that cable breaks were <laughs> I can try putting gear here but I don't know if it's gonna make a difference. Oh here we go hon straight to the coffee shop. Don't get excited yet we're not out yet. We're not moving Steve. Huh? We're not moving. I know. I was just trying to get some tension on it and then put it back in gear again. Oh, we moved there for a sec. Oh, it's all again. The current situation is I made it through here and then it's getting deeper and deeper and deeper. These are 38 inch tires on here and we are up to the bottom of the door, top of that tire, trying to, that's the only tree we could winch off of. Unfortunately, the snow does get deeper. And I've been trying to dig in front of it. Um, this is not ideal because Dawn definitely can't make it through here and we have a bit of a situation. Two hours later, a lot of shoveling and a broken shovel later, we're still out here. There comes a point in every man's life where he has to just admit defeat. So we've got a tow truck pulling out the truck, pulling us out. <clears throat> it's kind of like the Chevy got stuck and the Ford got stuck and everything. But, you know, shout out to a patient wife who uh, thinks she was going for coffee and ends up, ends up stuck in a field. So hopefully a tow truck can pull us out and get the other guy out. And yeah, let's check out the situation here. Yeah. Yeah, that looks about... That's about right. So my plan was, for those wondering, to pull through the snow bank and get to the ankle deep snow and then I was going to turn around and come back because it's downhill. But that didn't go as planned. So, see look at, knee deep right here. Ooh, ah, knee deep there. I'm not big on shout outs, but shout out to the little tree that could. Uh, we almost chopped this branch in half. This one's, uh, let's see. For those wondering, that's a worn 12K PTO driven winch. And uh, it uh, definitely was trying it. Look at this. Can't even, look at the tree. Oh man, it's three quarters of an inch in there. That rope's as big around as my finger. And it was buried in there. So uh, yeah, 
that was fun. There's the tow truck way back there, about 300 feet away. We'll see how this works. Hey, how's your book? My book's great. Good. Good. Listen. And I'm nice and warm. I just take my coat off. It was so warm in here. Nice. Listen. I was outside talking to the tow truck driver, and I was just reminiscing about the time I told you we were going for coffee, <laughs> and we ended up stuck in a field for three hours. Yeah. <clears throat> the good news is, yeah. I got my cardio in today. You did. You're half and puff. That is a lot of shoveling and walking. I just walked through deep snow all the way back. And the next time you're gonna wear boots. Yeah, my feet are soaked. I just said that to Don, and Don's like, "You went off roading without boots?" Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, tow truck driver's here and uh, he's got 150 feet of spool. I put 60 feet on there. Don gave 50 feet. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna see what we can do. It's a buffet of rope. A buffet of rope. There's all kinds of makes and models out there. So let's see what happens. Oh, you're doing good though. You brought your book. I got my water. Water just, book. Just yeah. Some in-flight snacks. Uh, Carrie's getting hungry. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I'm getting to that point. You just get on a shovel. You forget about how hungry you are. No, I think so. No? Okay. Good. Oh, here we go. I just want to turn that wheel straight. Oh no! Don hit the tree. These are the ruts. And, uh, we made it this far. Hey, what are you, why is your jacket going on? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm aborting this. No, 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 it's okay. It's no. okay. We're almost out. We're almost out. We haven't done anything productive. It's going to be fine. We're almost there. The tow truck's getting fixed right now. Yeah, well, the broken tow truck is my last problem. <laughs> okay. So fortunately, I have my mitts and my tube because I knew something bad was going to happen. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll still buy you a coffee later. Oh, good. If you get out of this. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, if you guys didn't notice, <laughs> Leah left and uh, I'm out here by myself now. Dawn's somewhere back there. Reliable towing sent a second tow truck out. And uh, this was supposed to be fun. We're like five hours in here, out here being stuck into a two minute drive in. And uh, I think a tow truck stuck back there. Do you ever have an idea and you think it's a good idea and it just doesn't pan out to be a good idea? That's kind of where I'm at right now. Talking to myself and a camera, talking to you guys, I guess. Well, let's see what happens here. Thing just broke and I don't want to get out and see what it was, but something let go. It went out somewhere and uh, I got it on drone footage. Oh, Don says something broke and he got it on footage. Let's go check her out. But at least nothing broke over here. Let's see here. What let go? It's like a cannon going off. Not sure what broke. Something broke. What this mean? Oh, it wasn't too bad. Um, the clevis broke, and uh, it's that 18,000 pound clevis broke. So hooking back up out there. Let's even get it out. It's uh, been an adventure of a day. I'm starving. Survival mode here. Um, I think he said he's putting a snatch block on it. That'll get her out. All right. We at home here. The thing is super dirty. I know this by traditional off-roading standards isn't crazy dirty by any means, but I'm gonna say and go on a limb and say it's probably a little dirtier than your average street vehicle. I'm gonna show you how you get all this off here. 
So funny story, I actually noticed on the way home that the power steering wasn't right, the brakes weren't right. This is a hydro boost vehicle for those wondering. I just noticed on my way to go wash it that I have almost no power steering and almost no brakes. I did top off the fluid. Uh, it wasn't as low as I thought. I do have a small leak, so I thought, you know, being stuck for five hours had something to do with that. Well, after yesterday's off-road adventures, consequently, power steering issue or hydro boost issue, one or the other. So I guess we'll uh, dig into that when we get there too. Hey guys, so here's the thing about washing a vehicle. Everybody has their way that they wash a vehicle and everybody thinks they're an expert. I'm not an expert, but I'm going to show you guys how I would clean a black, muddy vehicle. Take it with a grain of salt, like it, love it, hate it. It's not gonna change my day. So here we go. guys that's the rundown of how I would clean a vehicle um, the whole vehicle is PPF wrapped don't just run out and like brush your own vehicle down like that that said uh, this genius detail products that uh, they're based at Edmonton man like look how clean it gets it just unreal every time so yeah consequently I did lose my power steering pump maybe that's why the winch wasn't working quite as good it is a 12,000 pound winch and I was kind of wondering why it wasn't dragging through the snow well well the power steering pump shot Yes, it is a vein driven pump on the winch, so obviously they kind of go hand in hand. All right, let's get going. Said we're gonna leave the Hummer here and take the Audi. Look at the unreal job VPS in Saskatoon did wrapping this. Again, they have branches all over the place in Canada. Just look up VPS Canada online. I'll put a link down below, but look how awesome this looks. Man, this just excites me so much. I cannot wait to get wheels and lower it, lower it. I have everything I need sitting. Oh, it's just on the other side of the Hummer there. You can't see it. You may have seen it when I was washing the Hummer. But yeah, I've got the carbon mirrors thanks to Pro Tuning, carbon chin, Pro Tuning. Look how good this looks. Oh, well, we're out and we're back on the road, but it's a hard lesson learned not to go venturing off into that area when the conditions are like this. So anyway, guys, that's all I got today. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Do all the good stuff, like subscribe and uh, keep your stick on the ice.